First, we will consider how we can create our procedurally generated map for a game such as Tower Defense. So we will decide what we want to achieve and what are the constraints. Next, I'll explain what are chess mazes and how we can use them in our procedural generation. And lastly, we will implement our procedural generation into Unity. So let's talk about what we want to achieve. If we take a look at a tower defense game, the map consists of a road that usually goes through the entire map and some background props. We have spaces to place our towers near the road. The road itself can be complex or simple. It can contain two or more exits. For our simple example, we have decided that we have a start and an end point that we want to connect with a road. The road should go through the entire map, so the path should be relatively long. The map should be filled with props so it looks more natural. Later, we will consider that we do not want to have many corners. Also, what I want to avoid is to have a microscopic path. So our assumptions are, our path will be created from one side of the map to the other side, usually the opposite side. We want to have as many props on the map as we can. And we want our road to look natural. So we want some curves, but not too many corners. Okay, so now we basically know what we want to do. Now let's go through the theory behind what are the chess mazes.